get ready for Mikey Sun TV. Four, three, two, one, zero. Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. My beard is really going crazy on me. I can see it in the light. It's going crazy. Man. Well, guys, guess what we're going to do today? We're going to do a little bit of a movie discussion. That's right. I don't really do movie reviews so much as I like to just discuss them, you know? Uh, this movie... I've not heard of, I think my wife put it on or I put it on like a week ago, a couple days ago, whatever. I don't remember. And uh, it's something that normally I wouldn't have picked or she might have not picked or whatever. It just kind of randomly caught our attention. So what is the movie today? Well, you probably know from the title, the description and the thumbnail by now, right? I know I would figure it out. It's called The Vanished. It came out in 2020. Now, guys, I always have my little handy-dandy trusty notes, okay? I can't remember all this stuff that I have wrote down in my head. I can't remember everything. So we're going to have some notes right here to look over to help old Mikey Sun out, okay? So let's start with the stars. Now, I might get some of the names wrong. If you ever watch my movie discussions, reviews, you know that my names can just be all over the place sometimes. Bear with me. I'm sorry. It stars Anne Hesch as Wendy. Thomas Jane as Paul. Jason Patrick as Sheriff Baker. Ale Alexia Archer as Miranda. Christopher Winnetete as Eric. John D. Hickman as Tom. And Alex Hayden as Justin. All right. Whew. I got through those names pretty well, I think. Not perfect, but pretty well, okay? All right. Let's go over the story. The Plot synopsis, if you will. Just a quick little bit. Alright? The story is... A husband and his wife will stop at nothing to find their missing daughter who disappears on a family camping trip. When the police don't catch any leads, the duo take over. And boy, do they. <laughs> do they ever. So... I have a couple of things here. I want to make sure I go in as much order as I can. Um, so, first of all, second of all, this might be third of all. Yeah, this is third of all. <laughs> all right, let's talk about the acting. I've got it wrote down. Please forgive me. Overall, everyone does a great job, but three characters stick out. Anne Hesch, Thomas Jane, and Jason Patrick. To me, from the start, Hesch and Thomas are selling their performance to me. They hit every emotion, from their facial expressions, to their line delivery, to their mannerisms, to the timing, uh, to everything. Jason Patrick does well uh, with what he's given as well, and the little that we see him. Uh, he has an emotional attachment to what's going on and he really gets that through in his acting his, vo uh, his voice tone uh, and his eyes and uh, he does a really good job there's a couple of parts where it just shows him kind of alone on his own maybe thinking or something and uh, you can you can kind of feel his pain of what's going on I want to give one more little prop to uh, the guy who plays Justin, uh, Alex. Alex plays Justin. Uh, he works at the campground. Uh, he's also a drug addict. 
Uh, he gives a good performance of the few times that we see him. Uh, he does the whole crazy, you know, kind of insane kind of look <laughs> when you're on those kind of drugs. Uh, all right. So I got two things here, guys. Two things. What I found funny, strange, or what I like. Hmm, what do I want to do first? Let's do what I found a little funny or a little strange. Or just kind of, eh, you know, maybe could have been done a little differently. Okay? All right. One thing that I noticed right off the bat the very first time I watched that movie was uh, the police do kind of a, la a lackluster job at uh, questioning and, and searching and, uh, you know, fingerprinting and, you know, you know, doing all kinds of things that you would normally think uh, the cops would do. As someone who unfortunately sees a lot of the investigation discovery type of real uh, stories that they play on TV, uh, my wife watches it, that's all she watches. Um, I see what they do. And uh, I see that they can find someone who killed someone 30 years ago by a fiber of uh, clothing that they find today. So I know what can be done. And although I understand that this is kind of out in the middle of nowhere, uh, you know, they're on a campground out in the middle of nowhere. Also, there's certain areas of the campground that they should be checking out. And really, they don't. So that was just kind of a, a thing that hit me instantly. All right. Uh, and this one here, eh, you know, it, it's just one of those things. There's a moment, uh, a man is camping, not really camping, but yeah, I guess camping. Okay, there's a man camping, laying on the ground, no shirt. Everyone else is in fall and winter type clothing, you know, jackets. Everybody has a hat, a jacket, something that looks like it's fall or, you know, cool weather to me. He's just laying on the ground, just dead straight on the ground. No shirt. By a little campfire. Just laying there. Uh, and he also seems to sleep rather good laying there. Uh, he, he, our, our two main people uh, confront the guy and he don't even wake up until the very last second. So uh, normally you don't sleep that well outside, I wouldn't imagine. Especially just laying there flat on the ground with no shirt. Uh, I know I wouldn't. I can't even sleep well in a bed. So, and I've never slept out. I've never camped or anything. But I'm assuming that I wouldn't sleep for crap. So, <laughs> uh, the fact that they uh, kind of get up on him and are kind of searching around the area and that uh, is just kind of, I don't know, kind of far-fetched a little bit that he didn't wake up and hear that. So, uh, and there's a a couple of uh, strange, out of place, kind of comical, kind of things that happened. And they were just kind of weird, out of place uh, stuff. Oh, and here's one. Okay. Um, now, this isn't really what I found funny or strange, but it's more along the lines of just kind of. Uh, it's almost kind of interesting. I mean, I could have put it on, like, maybe what I like list. Or something. I don't know. It's just kind of funny the way it hit me the very first time I watched it. Uh, this, uh, like I said, this isn't really a con or bad or anything. But there's a moment where Wendy and Paul are having kind of a tug of war match with a phone. Uh, Paul pulls on the phone and it hits him in the chin. <laughs> he says, ow. And Wendy's like, are you okay? <laughs> uh, it, it looks like it might have been uh, like a real time accident but they kept the scene going anyway i mean it really looks like it shouldn't have happened so i just thought that was funny like when it actually when I, the first time i watched the movie uh, i just i kind of chuckled at that part i thought that looks like it really happened so it may have who knows um there's maybe one or two little jump scares uh that i really feel that uh there was no real reason for and uh and it don't even involve anything super major, but it's just kind of a, a little jump scare, you know, just like, oh, oh, crap. But, and for me, uh, this movie's way better uh, than that. It didn't need any, anything like that. 
Uh, this movie didn't didn't need any little smoke and mirrors. Uh, not this movie. <laughs> um, and another thing, God, if there's anything that we all know, guys, you don't hide anything in a dumpster, okay? Because you're gonna get found. Now, although the officers weren't really uh, thorough in their search, in my opinion. They might have even looked in the dumpster. <laughs> so don't leave stuff in the dumpster, guys. That's not good. All right. Now, on to things that I liked. Yay, we'll leave the good stuff towards the end here, the stuff I like. But as you'll notice, uh, the things I, I found strange or funny or maybe thought was a little odd or off, that's nothing, right? And that's just, you know, and that's after my second watch. I watched it uh, for the second time this morning, actually. And I was kind of writing some of this stuff down at the time. So, anyway. On to the things that I like. Uh, again, the acting. It's really done well. And there's not a whole lot of movies I see that I think, you know, this is this is real. You know, this is like, this is real stuff. And they're really selling their performance. So, they did a really good job with their acting. Um, you could really feel the chaos and the frustration uh, between our two main characters and even to an extent uh, the police officer so uh, you could really feel it uh, the score at times uh, is emotional at other times it's heart pounding and at other times it's kind of eerie and haunting uh, I noticed that and I, I really appreciated that it, it really it kind of makes you you know more invested we all know that a good soundtrack or musical score or whatever can really make or break a movie or tv show and uh, i think they did really well with this so yeah really good uh the way some scenes are shot the composition uh some of the drone shots uh and a, and a lot of that shows like uh the size of the location the vastness of the area and all that uh, I, think th I thought they did a really good job with that. And then there's also some music that plays, you know, behind that. So that's, I think they did a really good job with that. Uh, and I cannot say this enough, but I like the twist. And actually there's a couple of different twists. And uh, there might be more twists. <laughs> but I thought that... Uh, the couple of things that we find out and that end up we finding out at the end of the movie uh, were really good and uh, really surprising too. Uh, some very interesting stuff. Uh, you find out there are more people struggling with losses towards the end of the movie. And I like that. I like that there's multiple things kind of going on, you know. Uh, not just action-wise, but even emotional-wise and stuff. So, you know, you see the struggles. Um, this couple has been through a lot, and you find out soon. Struggles with their marriage, a tragedy, really well done with the story, and letting us viewers in. And that's how I felt. I really felt like I was a part of this story. I was really surprised. Seriously. Uh... About midway, you see mental struggles and anguish people go through. The way they think, the things they're willing to do. You really cook, uh, you really feel the confusion and desperation. And that's really about all you can say about this movie as far as that goes. There's a lot of uh, confusion, uh, confusion and desperation uh, in this movie. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a really interesting movie that... You know, if a movie catches my attention like that, then that's pretty good. So, uh, props to them. I'd like to say also, uh, it's not every day a movie surprises me. This one did. To me, it's very well done. It's almost two hours long, and not one time that I wish it would hurry up. Uh, even uh, on my second watch this morning, I, w I didn't even notice the time. Uh, I've not really heard anything about this movie, to be honest. You know, like I said, we were just flicking on, and it was there. Uh, it was a random watch, and very much glad I watched it. And 
very highly recommended. Uh, and also what I like is at the end, we're kind of left to use our imagination, our own judgment as to what happens to our two main characters. And I like that. I like being left uh, to kind of wonder, hey, you know, what's going on? <laughs> so I appreciated that. And uh, well, guys, that's kind of my outlook uh, of uh, The Vanished 2020. I really enjoyed it. And if I had to give it a score, say, uh, out of five or something, I would I would probably give this a five. It's really that good. I found it that interesting. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed watching the movie two times, and I enjoyed writing this down and, and bringing you this video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you give the movie a, a shot. I try not to give too many spoilers or anything away. I think I did pretty good on that. So, guys, check out my playlist. Check out the video section. The playlist has pretty much everything in it, but you never know what you might find in the video section. There might be something I forgot to put in some kind of playlist. So, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff on this channel, on all these videos. And then, when you get tired of that, go to my other channel, Old Mental Pickle. That's where I live stream video games only okay then like share subscribe comment on that channel and videos as well okay all right well, i'm gonna wrap this up and don't forget guys get up get out get red and do it to it even when watching and discussing a movie you never thought you'd even watch or discuss good stuff highly recommend the vanished 2020. We'll see you next time, guys. Mwah. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!